Give me the Mavericks and the Pacers. Mavericks, Pacers, NBA Finals. The Celtics are so much better than the Indiana Pacers, it's not even funny. This series is over in five. They're the best team in basketball. They're going to win the championship. They're going to win the series in five games. That's the kind of year it's been. Cat Williams said it all. This year has been bananas. <laughs> okay. Mavericks, Pacers, NBA Finals. A, a series befitting of, of the year of our Lord, 2024. That's, that's what we get. I'm going with the Pacers, man. I, can't, I, I, I still don't trust the Celtics. See, Michael Smith, you, you got to question your own character. He's rooting against the Celtics. Could be rooting against me. What, what, what was your feeling when, when you heard your name called? Uh, I wasn't expecting it at all. You know, I'll never win shit. So uh, I was just happy that we won. Um, and give credit to Indiana. You know, they, they played us tough. I, I know, like, people think that Indiana wasn't a good team or whatever the case may I mean, I thought they were as tough as anybody we played all season. Um, they were physical. They were fast. They put a lot of pressure on us. So shout out to them and respect to them. You know, I come to you for my Boston insight and information. For all things Boston, I'm not just, I don't want to limit you to Boston. I'm going to put you in that box. But for all things Boston sports especially, I come to you and I expect better from you. Celtics in five? Psh, come on, man. You're way off. Way <laughs> off. Celtics in five. Really? Way to sell them short. Way to sell them short. Way to That's underrate right. them. Way to underestimate them. Underrated. You should be in the hype video. You should be in. Like, you, you're 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 borderline hater. Border. Like, I can't believe you. Celtics in five, five. Oh my goodness. What did I text you after game? I want was the game two. I think after I texted you after the game two, and I said Celtics you in said three. Celtics in three. I said Celtics in three. <laughs> Celtics in three. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but because, seriously. No, but but let me say something. Hey. I, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. I will say this and I'll pass it to you because honestly, I should just shut the up. I should just come here. It's, it's, it's like it's like uh, it's like Eddie Murphy and the Golden Child. I should be punished. You know, like my dear sweet brother Nimsy. Like I don't deserve to speak on Holly and Smith today. I should just be quiet. But I am going to say this. I don't. I was dead wrong about the Pacers winning the series. And but I don't right. feel silly. Does that exactly. make sense? Does exactly. Make sense? It makes perfect sense. I don't feel wrong. It I, mean, I, I was wrong, but I don't feel silly. Okay, good. Take it away. No, no. Yeah, you know, really, because let, let's 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 keep this thing going because it's almost like you you know the Pacers were in this situation for most of the game where they're playing their game. They're playing their game, and it's almost as if uh, people said to them, "Hey, don't worry about where you are." Don't worry about the stage. Don't worry about the opponent. Believe in your ability. Just play the game. And they did that. And then they got to that moment, the, those final two, two, final two minutes. It's like somebody, you know what? It's like somebody who's afraid of heights. They're like, listen, ain't no big deal. You just do what you normally do. And they, at, at the last minute, they look down like, damn, that's far. <laughs> what, what, how the hell I get all the way up here? They flipped out every game. With, Ty with Tyrese Halliburton, without Halliburton. All uh, right, you know, playing well ahead, playing well from behind, it didn't matter the situation. With two minutes to go, in the last two minutes, they lost their minds. No adult supervision at all. Lost no composure, no charisma, no confidence. All the things they displayed in every single game. Every single game, they made great yeah. plays, smart plays, winning plays, until it was time to win. They made winning plays until it was time Mike. to win, and they lost this year. They got swept. How, how'd they get swept? Mike, we should be sitting here right now. Okay, good. All right, good. I, I, I thought I was going to have to get it from you, but I appreciate you being reasonable because we all watched the same four games. I, we should be sitting here talking about a 3-1 Pacers series right now. We should be trying to figure out how the Celtics are going to come back from a 3-1 deficit right now. Okay? We should be talking about how in the hell the Celtics are down 3-1 to a team minus its best player in Tyrese Halliburton. Instead, here's what I do feel silly about. The reasons I picked the Pacers, it's almost as if the Pacers said, hold my beer because we are, we are going to do the things that you think the Celtics 
are going to do in these circumstances. We are going to collapse and we are going to make boneheaded mistakes in crunch right. time and we are going to get out coached. What did I keep hammering going into this series? Like, oh, coaching edge to Rick Carlisle with the exception of a play that they got from Madden with the exception of the four wide receiver play. Great which play was awesome at the end of game three. Great play. He, right. Great play. Tremendous play. Like, why haven't we seen that before? Other than that, Rick Carlisle got out coached by Joe Missoula. Okay. And they got outplayed and out executed in key moments. Now, granted, it's not Rick Carlisle's fault. Tyrese Halliburton got hurt. And I'm not, I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I'm just pointing out that Rick Carlisle obviously had a shorthanded team. But let's, so did the Celtics, who I thought at some point would miss Chris Stapps Porzingis. But okay. It's not his fault he didn't have his best player. And there were some mental meltdowns that the coach cannot control. I mentioned Madden, this is not a video game. He is not, con he is not in control of some of these turnovers, some of these unforced errors that his players were making. Well, Having said all that, and maybe out coach might be a bit of a stretch. Having said all that, the edge that I expected to see from a coaching standpoint was not present. Or maybe right. it's what you said all along, or maybe it's what you said all along that the Celtics were just so much better and we should just tip our caps to the Pacers for making this the most interesting, entertaining, and the closest sweep that I can remember ever. Maybe that's all this okay. was with the Celtics. They made it, the, the, the Pacers made it fun, but at the end of the day, one of the greatest teams in NBA history from a regular season standpoint, offensively speaking, as were the Pacers, but one of the top teams in this season at both ends of the floor in terms of offensive and defensive efficiency, in a 48 minute game, or as the case may be a 53 minute game, eventually the better team won. But I'll be damned if the Pacers didn't have games one, three, and four right there for the taking. They had a 90% or greater win probability. I don't even know how you calculate win probability, Michael, but it was 90%, which it's, is pretty good last I checked. In three, check. in three games, in three games. Are you, you know, kidding? You know how you calculate I, I cannot win. believe we're sitting talking about a sweep. This is how you calculate and translate win probability. Y'all should have had that one. <laughs> That's how it is. Oh, y'all, you know, you, you know, y'all should have had that one. That's how you calculate it. And I, it wasn't a sweep. Mike. But way back in the day, I remember this way back in the day, uh, growing up in Akron, Ohio, uh, rooting for the Cavaliers <laughs> at the time who weren't very good. So the Cavaliers, they were coached by George Carl, young George Carl. They had World B with the crazy jump shot, mm. messed up my jumper for like 10 years. World B free, Roy Henson, Dinner Bell, Mel Turpin, John Bagley. Anyway, they played the Celtics and uh, they played them in a, it was a best of five series and it was Celtics won it three to one. And I think the series, the actual total points were tied. It was one of those the Cavaliers won mm. their one game by seven points. And I think the total series from a team that was going to the NBA finals, the Celtics to a team that that barely scraped its way into the playoffs, the Cavaliers, it just sometimes works out that way. And I think that's what happened here in this tonight. Not that uh, Indiana is as bad as those Cavaliers were, but it, it really was a mismatch between these teams. It was a great matchup and Indiana played well. But I'm going to take issue with something you said. Rick Carlisle was not outcoached by Joe Mazzula. Rick Carlisle. It was, Rick there Carlisle. There was no advantage. There was no advantage. No, <laughs> Rick Carlisle stood in a vacuum and just was like he got caught. He got I don't know, the vapors or something like something took over his mind. Joe Mazzula had nothing to do with it. Right. Joe Mazzula okay, was yeah. standing there he saying had nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure. I, I can't yes. believe this dude. Yes. Game Mazzula one. Does, How about game one? I'm going to just let you. I'm going to let I'm going to let you just go ahead and mess up yourself. Go, I ain't got to do yeah. nothing. You, you got it. Game, I, absolutely. Game absolutely. One, that, that, you're right. Says, That's the better way. Of I should have called there, a time. This was no Call a timeout. This was no back and forth chess. There was no chess match being played. There was just one coach lost his damn mind, just like the rest of the team did. Yes, that's and the it, better way. And he it. knows it. Yes, and he knows it. What do you always say? You always say, "Hit dogs holler," right? Hit dogs holler. Okay. Yeah. Did you see his? You see his little performance after Game Three. So I don't know if he has hit. I don't know what the reporter is. Maybe there's probably a little history with the reporter. But after they lose Game Three at, at the Madden play, as you call it. Um, and you know, good, good performance, good effort from the Pacers, and they had a shot. Aaron Neesmith really got open for a nice shot. Reporter says to him, "Hey, Rick, you know, in the last two minutes, he starts asking this question. You know, you were up by eight. Oh, 
I and you know what? I just I just saw it. I saw everything. Yeah, everything. I said so. So next next question. He was mad. He's mad. Right. Why? Right. Because he knows there's. It wasn't just the young team making mistakes. He was making it's the championship coach. He made a lot of mistakes too. But we keep focusing on Indiana. Down the stretch, you still Jalen Brown still has to make that corner three in game one. Game two, right. somebody's got to somebody's got to score saying. forty. That's he what gave I, him forty in game two. That's what I Drew felt Holiday. Say about Boston. Drew. And you tried Ooh. to tell me Boston did the things that their reputation probably uh, an outdated expired and at this point undeserved reputation at this point suggested that they would not do which was that they made the plays necessary down the stretch in in, in, in critical situations in order to win these games. You're absolutely right. Those they had the they weren't all unforced. All those errors weren't weren't unforced. Okay, that, that was a that was defensive pressure from the Celtics in many respects. That was incredible shot making from the Celtics in many respects. I'm, I'm not in any way trying to say that Indiana, this was all Indiana handing it to Boston. Boston had to take it too. Boston had to be ready, willing, and able to take it and take advantage of the Pacers' shortcomings. And there is greatness in that. There's greatness in that. There, there, there there's champion like. Every championship team is not just going to run rough shot over everybody and blow everybody out game in and game out as if it is the regular season. You're going to have to win games like this. And the Celtics did it. Now, I'm not taking anything away from Boston. I take issue with the way Indiana performed, but at the same time, I'm not taking anything away from Boston. Well, I, I, but I, I'm, I, I take issue with the way Indiana performed down the stretch. And, and, and shouldn't that be sure. expected... If you take Halliburton out of it, although let's leave Halliburton in this this conversation, they, because how about he's the same? Like here. you said earlier, they were they were, but they were but they were losing their minds with or without Halliburton. Yeah, I was gonna so say he's I, never. I, I'm not even going. I'm not even gonna use that as an excuse. And and we all say, hey, you know, they have an experienced point guard. Like, yeah, they have a great point guard. I think he is a great young point guard, but he is a great young point guard, and so. It, he is, it's not like he's been in that situation where he knows hey, exactly, you know, what, what the team should do or what he should be doing. Now, it seems like common sense, but these guys, when they get into these playoff games, Eastern Conference Finals, the first time he's been in the Conference Finals, it's the first time Neesmith's Smith's been in the Conference Finals, Nimhart, all these guys, they haven't been here before. So they performed like guys who hadn't been here before, whereas the Celtics, have had lots of memes about them, lots of jokes about them, how they've been to the conference finals, how they live in the conference finals, but they're never able to get over the hump. Right. So they know, right. all right, we, we've experienced it. We've given away games in the last two minutes, so we can certainly take it from somebody who doesn't have the experience that we do. And I think that's really, it's just that it's was just the crazy. That was the difference. It's just and that's, crazy. That's big. But it's just crazy how... Well, no, it is. It's just crazy how the, how how those moments, you know, the old phrase, the pressure bust pipes, like those those moments brought out the best and worst in the Celtics and Pacers, respectively, because it's like, you know, I can't sit here and say, hey, hats off to the Pacers for going toe to toe with the best team in the NBA from the regular season, a historically great team, um, you know, the number one seed going away, going toe to toe with them, even after losing Tyrese Halliburton. I can't give them like credit when though that same squad, uh, you know, uh, of the, the other guys, like they had them right where they wanted them. Like they still should have won three of those four games, even without their best player. So I, I just don't, I can't say, hey, they gave it their best. Like They should have won one. We're like, nah, man, they should have. They should have won one. Which one should they? Should. Should have won. won game one. Three they and four, won no? One. Not should have Three won. and four, no? No, no, could have won games three and four. Like, should have won last night? No. No, I wouldn't say that. Um, should have, should have won game three? What? Should have? Game I one, mean, from, from a you Pacers got perspective, the ball. Listen, yes. You got, I'm telling you. Okay, there you was less the time remaining 
<laughs> the moment, and the, the moment ball. of truth was was much small, was Dude. much shorter in game one. I'll give you that. But the I'm just telling you, look, there's a, there's a lot of different ways to choke. Give, okay. give me and that ninety-seven percent. They found three unique ways to choke. <laughs> give me that ninety-seven percent win probability. Okay, I will take this situation. I forget about the Indiana Pacers. I who couldn't even make my high school basketball team. Okay, I will take this one. Give me the ball up by three with 10 seconds left and all I have to do is get the ball in. <laughs> if I just get the, if I can get the ball in, uh, I'll be all right. So, but this goes back to uh, Carlisle no, before that, I that throw was, the ball in. That was the worst of time the out. for sure. That was the worst, right? Time out. Get the ball at half court. So now you're not even fighting. You're not even in the situation to throw the ball away where Jalen Brown is getting that position in the corner. If a coach calls timeout, which right. Carlisle should have done, now you move the ball up and it's even easier to throw it. Now you can work with more of the court. You can that throw was the ball the in. If, if, we're, if, we're, hey, if we're ranking them, yes, that was the worst of the three. Should have had that rank. Uh, the other ones, but, hey, if you okay. go take it, if somebody yes. takes it from you, they take it from you. No, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm still blown away. I'm still blown away. I, I really, at, at, like three times, I'm sitting, I'm like, these dudes, these dudes about to like, give this game away again. I'm like, I'm going to have to eat it through no fault of my own. Through oh, no see, fault of my own. Like, I'm perfectly is. fine. Okay. I'll no, but no, it's not. And, and you said I was rooting against the Celtics. I was not rooting against the Celtics. I'm always rooting for me. And I'm not rooting against you. Like, I love you. I'm not rooting against you. I'm rooting for me. And there's a difference. Like, like this should not go on my ledger. This should not, this should not go on my scorecard. I should, I should get a reprieve. I should get a, 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 a hall pass, an excuse, or something. Because this is not my fault. Like, I was wrong. But was I, though? Or did they? Like, or did they just, yes. Like, yes. I was they became wrong. A but different was team. Yes, yes, you were. They became. They became a different. Uh, they became a different team. And the, I mean, the, I was like, where is the team that had these leads? Where is the team that like had showed no fear? And all of a sudden, it's like at the, at the end of the game, you know how like the teams have been like, oh, they don't they don't know any better because they've never been here before, so they don't know any better. Right. It's like at the end of the game, the Pacers was like, well, wait, we ain't never been here before, and we ain't supposed to be here. So let's let us give it to the team that's supposed to be here. Like, I, I don't know what happened to them down the stretch in these games. They should be up 3-1. Not could, not would. They should be hey, up 3-1 no, no, no. No, going should not. back to Boston. No, they should not. I'm sorry. So which game, you said 3-1. In the so grand which game, scheme of the multiverse, which game they are should up they have 3 one. I, They should have lost I'm game two. Go. So the, game two, the one that Jalen Brown just 40. Two. Two. Okay. Just two. Right. That's it. Two. That's all, right. all that Celtics did what the Celtics do. The other ones, the Pacers, those, those were there for the taking. And the Pacers had to be complicit in the Celtics' comeback. It, was, it wasn't just the brilliance of the Celtics. The, the, the Pacers How about absolutely Holiday? contributed. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.